Hi guys, I'm Tanisha. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For people new, hi, I'm Tanisha, and today I'm gonna be doing a little makeup tutorial and a chit chat session. So today's makeup look is gonna be like a glowy, summery makeup look that I do for my YouTube videos. And the chit chat session is basically gonna be me answering a few questions and just chilling and vibing with you guys. Cause uh, I feel it's been a while since I did you know did a Q and A. I feel the last Q and A I did was like uh, a while ago <laughs> i don't know when but yeah let's do a little chit chat and let me show you my makeup routine i'm going to talk about a few favorite products that i have and certain things that i recommend and yeah there's nothing more i can do to describe this video so let's just get on to it so this is what my bare skin look like i have like scars and i have one active pimple but it's fine it's almost like dying down now but uh yeah right now on my face i have niacinamide serum and niacinamide pimple cream and apart from that the only other skincare product that i'm going to be using today is the vasu facial beauty face oil so for a while i have been looking for like facial oils that are not sticky and not greasy on my skin because i already have an oily brown skin and vasu's facial beauty oil became one of my favorite oils ever it blends the traditional recipe of kumkumari thailam and gives a natural glow to your face it overcomes hyperpigmentation blemishes age spots and wrinkles it has kumkumari thailam lavender argan oil and other repressed oils which are really great for your skin so when it comes to using it i take 2 to 3 drops on my palm rub it in and gently dab it onto my skin just a little bit it has a non sticky texture and it gives a soft glow to my skin this oil plays a huge part in giving that glowy look to my face and it suits my face really well i apply it like in the day and at night so after with the oil i use like a jade roller i am not a pro at using a jade roller but i'm learning a few techniques This oil helps boost collagen production, gives you glowy soft skin, revitalizes, nourishes and improves skin elasticity. Then I layer it with my skincare and I put it under my makeup all the time to get the glowy and pretty look. I'll be linking down the oil so that you can go and check it out too. So now that we're done with the skincare part of this, let's get on and do my makeup. Okay so first time I'm going to be using the Lakme Absolute Gel Primer and I'm only going to be using it near like my nose and this area where I have like a lot of open pores so I'm just going to put a little bit there to Now next up I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow first so I'm not planning on doing like a flashy eyeshadow because I want the look to be like pretty like neutral and like you know glowy and more towards the pink side of it so for my eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Revolution Reloaded palette in the shade Neutral Stew and it has like these beautiful pinks and browns and like some shimmers I really like this palette this is like my everyday palette and it's pretty affordable as well so if you're a beginner looking for a good palette I feel this could be one of the best palettes to have I'm mainly going to do like the corner of my eyes cuz like I want a lifted eye look kind of thing so i'm just going to do like a dark color in the corner of my eyes and then just add a little bit of shimmer on the inside and if that makes sense just you know look at what i'm doing i guess okay so while i'm doing my eyeshadow i'm going to answer a question the question is if you had to give an advice to yourself of what would it be um uh, i guess sometimes i need to be reminded about my worth if that makes sense i feel everybody has moments of self doubt in this career cuz like it's you're literally your entire career is based on other people liking you so i would like to give myself the advice to overcome that self doubt and to believe in myself all the damn time and now i'm just going to go in with my hands and i'm going to take a little bit of a glittery shade i'm going to apply it on the inner corners so that's kind of what my eye shadow looks like i mean I don't think you can see properly, but it's just like literally two colors that I mixed together. Now I'm gonna go in uh, for my eyeliner and my eyelashes. So this is one trick that I use. I take like this brown eyeliner from Sugar, and the thing I do is I line my upper eyelid. So this corner that you're seeing right here, I'm gonna line it with the brown eye pencil. I don't know why but I really like how it makes my eyes look. I feel it makes them look bigger. I don't know if it actually does that but that's how 
I feel my eyes look. I'm just gonna go in with this Lakme Absolute Shine Line Liner. I'm gonna make a wing. This is just too much pressure to do on camera. So I'm gonna go over the line of my eyeshadow. Take it from the middle of your eyes. Yeah, that's how I do my eyeliner, just in case you wanted to know. Okay, now that I'm done with my eyeliner, there's this one another little trick that I use for my eyes. I use the Lakme Iconic White Eye Pencil. And now I'm gonna line the lower waterline with this white eyeliner. I don't know if you can see, but this eye looks bigger than this eye. Or that's maybe just how I feel. I mean, I think it does that. This entire tutorial is based on what I think. So, which is like let's deal with it i guess but i don't know if it actually does it but i like the look it gives i like the look of this entire tutorial gives so that's the whole point but yeah now i'm gonna show you all my favorite mascara ever like this mascara i live by it i have two bottles and i've used them entirely because i absolutely love 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 this this is the Faye beauty brush which is eyebrow and eyelash gel and damn this was a game changer like this mascara is everything like it has been everything for me just look at the right eye and then look at the left eye like look at the wow just look at my eyelashes shit i love it for my brows i do not fill them because um i don't know how to so i'm gonna use this wet and wild mega clear um mascara and i'm gonna use it as a brow gel so now for my foundation my still does have a lot of moisture because of the face oil so i'm gonna be using the maybelline superstay foundation i'm just gonna take like two drops of it and then i'll you know keep on adding on if i need more so i use this brush to blend in my foundation i put it on my hand and i take a little bit and go in the superstay foundation is like a full coverage foundation but since you are applying like a really really thin layer it keeps the glow right it makes your skin mad but it keeps the glow have you ever regretted something you posted on the internet um who hasn't regretted anything that they posted like any influencer you ask has regretted one thing that you'll be like oh my god like you know i shouldn't have posted that because i could do much better but in the end of the day everything you post helps like you know Whatever you posted before, if you think that's cringe right now or if you think that doesn't make sense, like why would you do that? It has contributed in one way or the other. So I am grateful for every piece of content I've put out, but there are certain videos I would take back because like, what was I doing? Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I was putting up those videos, but I am still grateful for them though. I am grateful for the videos. Uh, do you prefer to plan for the future and be at ease or be spontaneous and live in the moment? I think I'm more of a planning person for sure. I mean, yeah, I do love a good spontaneous vacation, but letting my life be spontaneous, like my career or my education or like anything that important is not something I can leave for me to be spontaneous about like i cannot be spontaneous about my career i'm just i'm just too um to me for that i guess like it's just too difficult to just let it be and not think about the future i think that's just how i've been born like i know a lot of my friends who are just like you know just go with the flow after i finish my education i'll figure out what i want to do and that's fine that does make sense you know like people figuring out what they want to do but i guess i have a little bit of an idea of where i want to be or what i want to do which i feel is good as well but later on if some things change and things just don't go according to my plan i will be a little hurt because i spent a while planning it but i guess i'll you know let it slide i won't like sit and crib about that one thing for a very long time i'll crib about it for like a week but then i'll just get over it and move on with whatever i have to do next because i'm like a true believer of the universe i don't know if you guys are coming up if you guys are but i i do believe in the fact that things are meant for you and things are coming for you and whatever's supposed to be for you is gonna reach you anyway so yeah that is my thought process when it comes to this okay so now that we are done with the foundation i'm gonna just add a little bit of concealer so the concealer i'm using is also from maybelline is there fit me concealer
So next up, I'm going to be doing blush. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This blush is almost over because I absolutely love it. Like this is a blush we've been using for a very, very long time in our entire family. Now I have to like give my face a little bit of contour since I'm not doing contouring. I'm just going to go from the top to my cheeks, like on my cheekbones kind of thing. It kind of gives your face a shape. Or so I've heard, <laughs> but yeah, I personally like how it looks when I put my blush here. I put some amount of blush on my nose because I like the whole cute Barbie gold vibe. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be using a highlighter, and for my highlighter, I have the Face Forward Highlighter Stick by Sugar. I've had this highlighter stick for over one year, and I have so much more left. Like it just, it just doesn't get over, and I'm really, really glad about that. But yeah. Okay, so the next question is three things you are thankful for. I know this is like a very, very basic thing to say, and this is something that everybody says, but my family, my friends, and uh, my supporters who are watching me right now are something I'm really thankful for. But apart from that, I am thankful for social media. Sometimes, like, social media and I have a love and hate relationship, but I am thankful for social media a lot and the last thing i'll be thankful for is growth i guess because uh, i mean i have grown a lot like over the years not just physically <laughs> but mentally as well and i really appreciate everybody who's like you know been there with me throughout this uh growth <laughs> journey but i feel i have become a very very different person than I was before and I am happy to be this person I am today because the person I was before I'm not saying she was bad but there are certain things that she needed to change and I think I did that so lastly we have lipsticks and y'all keep on asking me this so here you guys go today so the lipstick I'm using is the Maybelline's creamy matte range and it's the shade touch of spice and it's like this really cute pink shade I really like and I just basically dab it onto my skin because I like, want like a natural you know look to it so I do that and lastly to finish off this look I'm gonna be using this uh, lip gloss that was given to me uh, by an Instagram store called Queen and with D and it's a really really cute pink gloss so I'm just gonna add it onto my lipstick Yeah, that's basically it. That's my look for today. So yeah, that's it for the video. I really, really hope you guys liked it and I really hope it helped you guys in any way. Maybe my favorite makeup products or I don't know I just hope you like this tutorial and comment down below if I should do more like maybe a natural makeup look or more of like a crazy makeup look or if I should try out some different makeup looks literally comment down below any ideas that you have and anyway I can improve my videos and I hope you like this little chit chat session as well comment down below if you have any more questions as well I would love to answer them in the future videos and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it because you're not the reason i make these videos also we hit uh, 60k so thank you so much we're kind of close to 100k so i'm really excited about that but yeah thank you so much for watching this video till here and if i haven't said this already i love you guys and i'll see you all soon bye